to the phone now. Sorry, I can't come to the phone right now. Leave a message All right. back to you, or you can call 630 723 Thank you. I hate leaving messages. Yo, man. Why don't you answer your fucking phone, man? Hey. I've been getting word, man. I ain't seen you in a couple days, man. But I know the last time I saw you, you was looking real ugly, man. And uh, one of your girls told me, man, you was looking like fucking Team Wolf and shit, man. You need a haircut or something, man. You need me to come pick you up, man. Something wrong. You feeling all right, man? This ain't like you. But, uh, yeah, do something ASAP, man. I got a rep to uphold, you know what I'm saying? You can't be around me looking like that, man. Niggas is talking, man. I'm sorry, man, but it, that's just how it is. But, uh, yeah, hit me back. I got you on the ride if you need it. I'll pay for that. All right, one. Jesus. Fucking parks. So what we doing here right now? Sir? What we doing here right now? Um, fucking my, uh, my, uh, confidant in this hip-hop shit informed me that I look like a fucking dickhead and an asshole and that I need to get my hair cut or else, you know, I can't hang out with him no more. Fucking prick he is. <laughs> Who's your, uh, confidant? Oh, I'm talking about uh, Buck Jr., uh, fucking man of many fucking names. Dude's ancient dinosaur ass. He's been around forever. You might know him. What's the deal with Parks, man? Talking about people saying you're too old to be rapping, or what's just the deal with that? People talking about that. What's, what's going on? Man, nigga, this nigga's crazy, man. Look, let me tell you like this, man. It don't matter, you know what I'm saying, your age or whatever, man. I ain't that old, you know what I'm saying? Just compared to him, you know what I'm saying? He a young buck, and I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a seasoned nigga, you know what I'm saying? I got a, I got a life outside of just kicking it music, you know what I'm saying? So as for the age thing, man, that that ain't no issue, man. You know what I'm saying? What about how y'all met, man? How did how did y'all really meet? I met that little dude, man, at Target, man. I was like a little manager or whatever over there at the time, man. And he, you know, one of them little badass kids that come in and catch a little case and shit, gotta get a job because of work release or something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, that's my that's my dude, man. You know, brothers from another mother, man. Me and uh, Brown Royal, you know what I'm saying? We all good dudes together, man. They're my guys, you know what I'm saying? Been knowing them for years. And, uh, you know, I lay, I lay my life down for that dude, you know, even though he a little dickhead sometimes, but you know, it's whatever. So how'd you meet Buck? Um, I met Buck, I've been on Buck for about like, shit, about, man, about eight or nine years. Um. I was in high school, and probably like a sophomore in high school, and um, you know, I was uh, at the time, like I needed money and shit, and I, I'm pretty sure I had just got like a little fucking juvenile case, and so like I had to get a job, the courts made me get this job, and I got a job up at uh, the Target on Randall Road in Batavia, and uh, like this dude, was our uh like our shift manager and so it was like me and him and brown royal running like the electronics department <laughs> at uh this target and do like we just i don't know we used to be able to do crazy reckless shit i mean I, I ain't saying we ever you know stole nothing or nothing like that but you know so that they, they was on us like that and they started watching us and you know, we used to slack off a lot and fucking clown and, 
do funny shit, but I remember, like, this motherfucker would always, like, it'd be on me to try, and they call it zoning, where it's like you face, you face all your product in your aisle to make the shit look good, and I would totally, like, set it up all bogus, you know, and, like, he would come through and try and get all, Zach, what the fuck, man? What the fuck, dude? Will you clean this shit up? Dude, this shit looks horrible. You know, they have fucking guys come through and, you know, like, check our area and shit, and then he'd be getting in trouble and trying to bitch me out. But, yeah, that's my... He an asshole, but, yeah, that's my homie. Yeah, he said y'all used to, uh... He used to be acting real reckless at work and be acting real irresponsible. What's that What's that about, man? You know, man, things happen. You know what I'm saying? Some things we can't really discuss, but, you know shenanigans and foolery as we call it you know what I'm saying just had to do what we had to do right. funny shit you know what I'm saying yeah he said that you uh you be acting like how you be acting at work man like, like somebody that's at work hey right. you know, getting paid you ain't doing your job what I'm supposed to do <laughs> be, be mad and not say nothing about it you right. know what I'm saying he like the most stubborn fucking dickhead when it comes to anything, man, like, this dude got a, a Mustang, right, like, how many fucking black people, black dudes, you know, you know, that drive Mustangs around, and not that that's a problem, like, there's a lot of black dudes that drive Mustangs around, and that's cool, you know, that's not even my point, but he, like, totally uses that, like, like, to make himself sound cooler, like, yeah, I know I'm a black dude that drives Mustang, like, he even come up to me and be like, man, you never seen this white dude today that seen me, and, like, when he seen him, I pulled up to him, he was like, Nice guy. He be acting like that shit. Super fucking sweet, you know? So I be trying to tease him about that. So what's going on with the Mustang, man? I mean, it's like just jealous, man. You know what I'm saying? He used to have a Mustang back in the day, man. And I went and copped one because I got a decent price on it. You know what I'm saying? And that's really what it is. But, like, I always try to, like, put it on him like, man, you know what I'm saying, the white folks dig a nigga in a, in a Mustang, you don't never see no black dude in a Mustang, but you go down south, you see niggas in Mustangs all the time, you know what I'm saying, but just to be messing with him, I say shit like that, man. He got his house and his kids and shit, and you know, um, like just, we're, we're both kind of, I'm more that, um, you know, I, I've always, you know, as the fucking, the white boy in me, the fucking getting shit face wasted and fucking partying and he that more self-reserved, and he always getting mad about little shit and crying, and the shit that I get mad about is just like, because I'm out of weed, or because I'm hungover, or something. He be getting mad about everything, like when I'm like five minutes late, like my hair. You got a lot of, it seemed like you got a lot of pet peeves with you, man. He said you don't, you don't be answering the phone or something, because... Cause you got other things to do besides rap. What's that? What's that all about, man? Exactly what it is. Man. I got like three jobs. I got two kids. You see my house, nigga. I gotta take care of it. You know what I'm saying? So I can't answer the phone all the time when you call. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how it is, man. Sorry. You know, I'm grown as hell, as he said. I'm an old dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, not to mention like his big ass fucking eyes, dude. They don't let this dude ride roller coasters. If they do, he gotta wear them old school ski goggles and shit, so he don't fuck his big ass eyeballs up. He, like normal pedophile glasses fit normally on his face, man. He funny though, dude. He's skinny these days too, man. He always talks shit about me and my head, but his ass, look, he look like he's a Holocaust patient. Yeah, that's my homie though, man. Man, he said you got big eyes, man. Oh well, you know what I'm saying? He's just jealous because the lady still love me. You know what I'm saying? It's not my fault. Man, it just keeps getting worse. I heard he said that you'd be like acting like you up on some kind of high horse or something. Like you better than him. And I ain't better than him, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just old today. He just do silly shit sometimes. I just don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I'm beyond being his age and you know what I'm saying? So sometimes I just can't take the bullshit he be doing, man. It's irritating. 
Right. Silly shit like what? Like smoking too much weed? Yeah, said smoking too much weed, man. Laying up with any kind of strange, man. Just being out. Just being dumb. We smoked, dude, and at the time we had uh, Brown Royal coming over to do some scratches. And, like, when he gets there, like, I I'm trying to get Buck, like, to, you know, like, ask him his opinion on some of this shit. And this dude's, like, asleep, you know what I'm saying? And he's all passed out. And then he fucking wakes up, dude. Like, like he's literally passed out on my kitchen table. Um, like, you know, on his head on his arm. You know, he's probably half awake, though. But he wakes up and gets, like, he goes and grabs, like, a fucking a Diet Coke, an orange some like pepper jack cheese and some like Ritz crackers and like sits at my table, my mom's kitchen table mm -hmm. and these are all my mom's food products as well and he continues to like eat through all this shit right and like the whole time we just sitting here asking I'm like man that's why I don't fucking smoke with you dude come over here bitching I'm trying to he's like man I can't help it bro yeah you know acting like a dick and uh you know, he goes, and, like, after, before he even done the shit, he just, like, up, he's like, eh, I gotta go, I gotta go, and he ups and leaves, and I look over, and there's, like, all these crumbs, and all this bullshit there, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and, like, it, it is what it is, and, like, I'm like, this motherfucker, you know what I mean, and he, he leaves and shit, and then, um, I'm sitting at the house the next day, like, the very next day, and he comes over, and I'm down in the bedroom, and, like, the night before, I had, like, had some strange come through, and it was, you know, at, like, two in the morning, two, two in the morning, um, you know, when we was kicking it, and, like, we had drank some beers and shit, and, you know, like, I think there is, like, not an actual prophylactic, but like the prophylactic packaging, like chilling on like the like the ground, you know, like not even the main piece, like you know how like cats get caught because they get that extra piece of gold, gold ribbon, like that that they find like oh, I know this is a I know this is a condom wrapper. It was like that, like some <laughs> shit just chilling on the like the ground right next to me, and he comes in and it's like some bottles and. He's he's bitching at me about that, and he's always coming in and talking about, ah, yeah, you need to clean up your lifestyle, your fucking slob, and how are we supposed to put out this music shit? You can't even fucking keep your own shit together and wear a fucking shirt without a fucking stain in it. What about, uh, you leaving this house all messy and shit? <laughs> hey, man, he got me smoked out one night, man. I couldn't help him, man. I wanted to go home after that, man. I had some, like... Some crazy cravings. I can't even remember what I ate, man. All I know is, is like, whatever I found in the refrigerator, I ate it. And the next thing I know, I was like, I'm out. Left the crib. He got mad because I left food all over the table. But you should see his room, though. His room is horrible. He got garbage all over the place, Hennessy bottles, condom wrappers, all this other stuff. He gonna talk about me? Stop it. What about you being, you know, disrespectful to his mom? What's that about? Not me being disrespectful. That's him being disrespectful. Ah. Hold on, see. Hello? What? Oh, yeah. Um, should be in the other room. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I'm over here getting my hair cut. I'll be home in a little while. I said I'll be home in a fucking little while. Yeah. Oh, it's downstairs, yeah. Yeah, you down there yet? Yeah, go to the, um... Go to the table, it's in the drawer. No, behind the weed. And... Yeah, behind those condoms, too. Oh, those are some fucking e pills. Yeah, those are yeah, there's some e pills that fucking Tom gave me. See it? All right, cool. Yeah. All right, I love you too. All right, mom. All right, bye. Oh yeah, his other shit too. Oh, really pissing me off about Buck. I can't eat a fucking piece of bacon. A slice of ham, a fucking That's right. whatever, dude. He the dude like I can't eat pork without him like giving me a five minute lecture, and the dude like 
like, you ask him one day why, and he's like, eh, it's because I'm Muslim, cuz. It's because I'm Muslim. And then, like, the next day, I'm like, yeah, what's up with that white girl? And be like, eh, it's not, and I'm like, you eating pork, but it's cool for you weighing white women, you know? And he'll be like, oh, no, cuz, I'm not, I'm not Muslim. I was just saying that, you know, pork's gross. Pork's nasty, man. And I feel you, man, but I'm a white dude, man. White people love pork, bro. I, I don't know what to say. It's one of those things, man. Man. He said you a hypocrite, man. He said you a Muslim, but you eating pork. What the hell? What's that? I am no Muslim. I study certain things, you know what I'm saying, and I apply them to my life. As for not eating pork, no, I don't eat pork, man. It's been like since 93 since I ate pork, man. You look into it, you might not eat pork anymore either, you know what I'm saying? Feel you, man. Well, man, in a nutshell, what is Buck and Parks, man, and, and what's what's going on, man? How how they all go down? What's what's the real the real deal? Man, Buck and Parks is like this, man. I was watching the Odd Couple TV show from way back, you know what I'm saying? And I looked at them dudes, and I was like, man, that's how me and Zach did. You know what I'm saying? Basically, we the same, but you know, he came from the D, Detroit, man. I'm from out here, you know, Aurora, Chicago area, you know what I'm saying? So, like, our lives are a little bit different. You live a, you live a way grindier life than I did, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know how to D get down, but, like, out here, it's a, it's a suburb area, but, you know, a lot of gang banging and everything go down, so, like, that's how we relate. But, you know, obviously, he a white boy, and I'm a black dude, you know what I'm saying? So, like, he's a little bit more, uh, how could I say it? To not offend anyone. He's a little bit more niggerish than I uh, choose to be. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's how that odd couple thing got started, man. But he can rap, man. He can rap his ass off. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I can too. So that just compliments each other, man. You got some crazy music. So that's basically how that went down, man. And that's my guy. So we had to do it. You know what I'm saying? He out in Cali now. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. So what's Buck and Parks? Uh, Buck and Parks is the collective of me and him, uh, staying for Buck Jr. Um, and Zach Parks. That's that shit. Buck and Parks. Us. What's the Odd Couple? Uh, the Odd Couple Project is, well, it, it's huge for me and him, but it's my debut release of anything I've ever dropped, so that's huge for me, um, that is coming out May, and that is my heart and soul, uh, that's my shit, it's our shit, man, yup. Alright, man, you got anything else you wanna shout out, anything else? Man, shout out webeenfresh.com, man, you know what I'm saying, lead music game. All my guys from way back, Pogo Society, man. Kenny Kane, throw your K's up. It's to the death, man. Maintain, Rex Center, you know what I'm saying? Peace.